We have a bunch of stuff to talk about here for the next zombies map coming to Black Ops Cold War DLC 2 Berlin. We're going to go through some release date information here, some pretty important stuff about when we're going to be able to play this new map. It's been revealed. We're going to talk about it. Some stuff here, some leaks with Kino being a part of Berlin for this next map and other zombie bosses we can see in Berlin. So a lot of stuff to go through here in today's video. We are 14 subscribers away from 71k. So if you guys are new and would like to subscribe to the channel, I really, really would appreciate it and be sure to leave a like on the video as well let's get started here first this is coming from code name pizza and he has been doing a bunch of talking on his youtube live streams where he's been revealing a bunch of information for future zombies dlc coming to the game and the first thing here it's about season three and a new normal zombies map experience so here's the clip and then we'll talk about it also our season three to start in three weeks and we're gonna get a brand new real zombies experience zombies map then which is apparently a keynote to totem remake i don't know if i believe that yet but that's what apparently it is um and then with, with outbreak we've got loads more maps coming as well but i want to get onto uh, the brand new map we're going on to Glover, uh, Glover. you heard it there from codename pizza he is saying that we will be getting a brand new real zombies experience at the beginning of season three he goes on to say that rumors are that it's going to be a keynote to totem remake which he clarifies later on in this live stream which we'll also talk about later on in in this video but the reason why this is important is because it's coming from specifically codename pizza it's not just a random youtuber talking about this it's codename pizza and he recently had an interview with Treyarch where he talked privately with them and was able to ask a bunch of questions about outbreak the main Easter egg quest for outbreak the next zombies map what we're gonna be seeing for future zombies DLC coming to Cold War we're gonna see new specific zombie maps added to outbreak a lot more main rounds based survival maps and in this live stream he mentions this again and goes through some more information and the reason why he's very important is because I'm not saying he has like insider information or he knows more than us but let's be real he probably does know more than us because he literally talked to Treyarch privately he must know something he must have a hunch as to what Treyarch's release plans are for the next couple of zombie maps and zombie updates in the game I'm not saying he knows everything he may not even know what the next zombies map is all about I mean he did say a Kino remake which probably isn't really true but he definitely has an idea as to what's going on here and he's saying this next zombies map DLC to Berlin will be releasing at the beginning of season three which is in about three weeks from now it's pretty soon honestly the current battle pass for season two is expected to end at around Wednesday April 21st which means the next day Thursday April 22nd is the expected release date for season three that date is super perfect for a DLC 2 map release if you look at the past is that Subunoshima for Black Ops 3 DLC 2 released on April 19th 2016 so April around that time frame very good for a DLC 2 zombies map and it's on schedule with the past zombie games now if Berlin is actually releasing in three weeks that also means that we are going to be seeing teasers very soon for this new zombies map if you look back at before Firebase Z we saw a bunch of teasers over on Treyarch's Twitter several weeks before the map actually released we saw some stuff about Samantha Maxis being trapped there and captured Ravnov being there as well, helping us out, giving us information on Outpost 25, other characters being revealed, there are different images of portions of the Firebase Z map, different Easter egg references, so Treyarch gave us an absolute ton of really good teasers for Firebase Z several weeks before it actually released. I'm assuming they would do the same sort of teaser marketing for the Berlin map, and if that's the case, we should be seeing some teasers for this next zombies map as soon as next week. I mean, right now, we're less than three weeks away from this expected release date, so the teasers really should start to ramp up, and these teasers are very important, especially for Berlin, because there's a lot that may happen here in this next main zombies map release. We could see Eddie potentially in the map. We have to figure out what Valentina is doing, going behind the back of Omega, gaining access to the Dark Aether, potentially bringing back old World War II German soldiers. A lot could go down in this Berlin map, so the teasers will probably be really important to seeing, you know, what we're getting in this new map. Now, despite Codename Pizza saying all of this here, I still think that Berlin is best suited for Season 3 Reloaded. If we look at Season 3 Reloaded, it's going to be around 
Thursday, May 20th, Thursday, May 27th, around that late May time frame. And the reason why I say that is because Treyarch has said that the Outbreak main Easter egg and the storyline in Outbreak, it's canon to the storyline, to the Dark Ether story. The thing is here, I don't know if they're going to release the Outbreak main Easter egg at the same time as the Berlin map, because I feel like what happens in Outbreak is sort of like a precursor to what we see in Berlin. It would make more sense to have the Outbreak main Easter egg first at the beginning of Season 3, and then the Berlin Easter egg and everything that happens in that map in Season 3 reloaded. Or they could do it vice versa. They could do the Berlin map at the beginning of Season 3, and then after the events of Berlin, we go back to Outbreak for some reason, and then we do the Easter egg there, and then that Easter egg brings us to the next Zombies app location in season four or season five we'll see what happens here regardless i think overall season three is going to be a very exciting season for call of duty in general especially for zombies now there's another clip here where coding pizza talks about remakes versus new original maps and he talks about what he wants to see for dlc2 berlin so here's the clip do I want a Kino remake or something new? So whenever it comes to zombies from now on, I want something new. We've had all the remakes before with Zombie Chronicles on BO3. Uh, BO4 was, in my opinion, a little bit of a letdown because all the maps weren't unique. Um, but now I want fully unique maps. But with that said, the way they turned Nactor and Totem into D Machina was really cool because it wasn't just the original map. It was a little tiny portion of the original map to give you that nostalgia and then a full other map that you've never seen before. So if that's the same as Kino, all you have is like the theater room or something like that and then everything else is different, I'm down with that. What he says there is pretty much my exact opinion and what I've been talking about for several months now. Now he goes on, talks about how we saw remasters back in BO3, remakes in BO4, at least for the Ether storyline. And after all of that, he just wants new original unique experiences from Treyarch Zombies. But D Machina was kind of the weird exception where Nocturne Toten was a small portion of the map and majority of the map was a new map, a new area for us to explore that we've never seen before. In that case, that's not really a remake. That's just a little bit of nostalgia thrown into the map. And if DLC 2 Berlin follows that same format as D Machina, bringing us a very small portion of Kino, throwing it into the Berlin map, the rest of the Berlin map is an entirely new location, that would be fine. And I think most people should and would be happy to see that. Now, the recent leaks that we've been talking about, if you've been watching a bunch of my videos or other videos about this topic, People are saying Kino might not actually be a part of the Berlin map. Those are recent leaks and rumors. And if that's the case, then, you know, it will be a 100% new original map. Besides for the fact that portions of the Berlin zombies map will definitely be from the campaign, although pretty much every zombies map we've seen, even back from World at War, had portions of it from the campaign. So that's not really a new thing there. But that's what we might get for the Berlin map, a new 100% original map. Let me know down below. Do you want to see that? Do you want to see a small portion of Kino added or... Are you going to be in the minority of people? Do you want Kino fully remade? Do you want to see like a BO4 style Kino remake where Kino's expanded and it's just Kino but new rooms? I mean, that would be kind of cool, but I don't think a lot of people are going to want to see that. And I definitely want them to focus on new original maps. But, you know, an expanded Kino would be kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. Maybe in the future. But let's go through here some stuff about bosses in zombies. This is actually kind of funny. Which one do you hate the most? For me, it was the Denizens from Transit. So annoying. So, at a of these four bosses back from old Shrek zombie games, which one do you hate the most? Which one was the most annoying? And we'll talk about which one we could see in Kino Berlin in a second. But we have the Pentagon Thief from Five, the Astronaut from Moon, the Denizens from Transit, and the Witches from Barry. Now, I really don't like the Pentagon Thief from Five. I just don't like the fact that he took your wonder weapons. I don't want a boss to be able to take my wonder weapon away from me. I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, you could just outrun the Pentagon Thief. You can kill him super easily, but I just don't want them to have that ability to take my wonder weapon because every time I I play that map he literally always took my wonder weapon so maybe i just haven't mastered the ability to kill the pentagon thief in the correct way especially on high rounds now the denizens there were kind of annoying you couldn't go in the fog without dealing with them but they weren't too bad the witches were pretty annoying too you could walk into the witch's house with twenty thousand points and come out with nothing and you can't pack much any of your weapons i mean they were pretty annoying but they were manageable in some type of way the astronaut from moon i mean he's definitely up there for one of the worst bosses i mean just in sheer annoyance going for a high round having to turn around 
and watch your back and if he takes your juggernaut or if he takes important perks and you have to teleport back to area 51 and you're on a higher round i mean he could really screw up your game on moon and moon is a fairly difficult map so to lose your perks on moon from this guy it definitely does not help you so the pentagon thief and the astronaut from moon definitely the running for the most annoying or worst zombie bosses in the game i mean i think they're all cool i like treyarch zombie so i think the aesthetic of the pentagon thief super cool like he's cool as a boss the moon astronaut super cool as well um he definitely fits with the vibe of the map but just what they do to you super annoying so let me know down below any other annoying zombie bosses you can think of and now for cold war zombies berlin dlc 2 what zombie boss are we going to see in cold war we have a mixture of new features and and stuff returning from the past so for bosses we have the megaton a new boss in the game the mimic as well but we also have the manglers back from garage Krovi. we have some stuff the panzer and outbreak so you know we could see some old zombie bosses and new ones in berlin what zombie boss would make sense with berlin from the past it's kind of hard to figure out what a new creation would be from them but we could think about some past zombie bosses that would make sense with the map i'm thinking of kino and there wasn't really a main zombie boss on kino maybe the nova crawlers could return i feel like that would actually make a lot of sense and it would bring some good bo1 vibes to the game so i think the nova crawlers actually a pretty good chance to see them return to the game maybe we could see one really big nova crawler like some crazy mutated nova crawler boss like that'd be kind of funny but you know other than that let me know down below any other zombie bosses you could see in berlin and we definitely will have at least one new one as well a new cold war zombies creation and we'll have to see what they bring us uh, very soon so that's pretty much it here for this video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave a comment down below berlin if you watch the entire video it is greatly appreciated shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys